G'day, in today's video, I'm running you through the different types of stands I have in my kit and maybe the why, when, and how I use them in different scenarios. Uh, I'd love for you to leave a comment once you've watched it and let me know your thoughts and if you have any other different types of stands that you use. Otherwise, towards the end, I also run through a little closer with the stands just using my iPhone. So you can jump through to that if you wanna have a, a super close look at each of the stand as well. So these are the main stands that I run with when shooting locally. So when I've got my van to drive around and take with me. This one's basically a, a rolling combo stand. You can take the wheels off, but um, I kind of leave this set up. It's only short, so this one, I mainly use my Godox 600 watt panel bouncing into fabric just at that kind of body height straight through fabric for that one or you can just bounce it straight at the ceiling if you're doing something super basic they're quite heavy with the combo but basically the junior receiver of the light just goes straight in but you can also pop up like a little baby pin on that one if you just want to hang like a smaller 600d or sorry, not 600D, 60D or something like that. So that's the main reason I use that one. It's got the adjustable leg. It's just really sturdy for those heavier lights. But obviously sometimes if you've got to be quick and move around locations, and it's if it's a day that I'm only there by myself, then this one's pretty heavy to kind of chug around with your other gear. So horses for courses, I don't bring this one out all the time, but if I've got someone else with me, definitely a go-to. One of the newest stands I've gotten is basically they call it a this one's a Kupo Midi Max baby kit stand. Basically a baby stand, essentially a little bit thinner than a C stand or a combo stand, but it's got the, the legs that spread out rather than a C stand, which just has you know the legs all coming from the center pole. Basically I bought this one after chatting with a gaffer about using C stands outside. And I'd previously kind of taken the risk to use C stands outside to pop the, uh, the boom of the mic out or have some of the heavier lights on C stands. And he was basically just saying, don't do it. C stands outside are just a nightmare. So make sure you always have a combo stand um, or something like that where the legs come out. And that way you're just much safer in the wind and being able to put the shotties safely just because of that. The higher point of the legs brace the stand a bit better. So with this one being a baby version, you obviously got the smaller baby pin. Um, so you chuck your grip on the top and then you can run, you know, you could pop a the scrim or something off there, or just pop your light straight on there and screw it down with the adapter. So it's a little bit smaller, obviously, than uh, the combo stand style. But um, this one's great. It goes yeah, high, more than high enough than what I need. And just gives you that confidence to be a bit safer outdoors when using lighting equipment. So that's basically a baby stand. That's a Kupo version, nice and beefy. My main go-to outdoor stand is this heavy, heavy combo stand. This one's a Manfrotto, goes up to about 3.5 meters if you need it. And basically it's a combo stand. And currently I've got the kind of Hollywood grip in it, but you've got your junior pin receiver. It's also got a baby pin if you need it as well. Um, so you could chuck a little, I don't know, I don't know what you could put on there, but something small, it's got the uh, thread on there so that's there and that can be an, uh, an inlet as well not not just the adapter so with the combo stand it's obviously it's probably a bit thicker just looking I'm pretty sure they're thicker than the C stands and just gives you that really sturdy because of the height that you can kind of have the middle brace part gives you that much more stability uh, for the heavier equipment and then with again talking to that um, gaffer he was saying rather than just using like a grip head, the circumference of these smaller grip heads just don't give you the stability enough for kind of outdoor use for wind and things if sudden gusts come. So if you've got like a, a, a 40 inch floppy or a 48 inch floppy, then this just isn't enough to bite down safely enough. So I took his words with that and thought I want to be much safer. So ordered the Hollywood. So as you can see, the circumference yeah, it's at least double, pretty much double the little smaller grip head. So that kind of gives me a lot more confidence to use the floppies and the flags and stuff. So this is just a tiny one, but you can just see, you chuck your stand on it, chuck your arm, uh, and then you would have, you know, whichever way you wanna fly it out and about. 
And then obviously, obviously always have your load going with your leg and sandbagging them just inside doing this. So not, not a problem. Um, again, the, the knuckles turning in the direction, but basically that nice big diameter gives you a lot greater security and tightness. So I feel much more confident now with doing um, outdoor, if I've got a floppy overhead, or even just having uh, the combo stand for my lights outdoors when using the 600s, it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable that I'm not gonna have anything blow over in the wind or uh, fall on talent or something. These are the Manfrotto ones that clip together. And these are nice and sturdy, so I'm more than happy to chuck an Aperture 300 or even the 600 if you're in a very static location. I wouldn't put the 150 dome on it or anything like that. So I definitely take these as my travel flight stands. So I just pop an audio boom knuckle and then chuck obviously a shoddy down below. Then that gives me more than enough confidence to have um, my boom right overhead, getting good audio and not having to take a C stand when doing travel jobs. So when we're flying, I, just, I don't have the uh, capacity to carry the C stands with me. So these little clip together Manfrotto ones, I think Coupo do a similar version now as well. So they're really great. And this can go super high um, as needed. I can't remember the exact height, but more than enough for what I need. Right, yeah, then lastly, obviously for indoor shoots, the go-to C-stand. I have a whole bunch of these now, which is really great. I've recently kind of upgraded per se to use Coupo as my C-stands. Uh, previous to that, I'd had a bunch of uh, newer C-stands, which are surprisingly sturdy and heavy duty. I'd bought a bunch of C-stands off Amazon over the years. And honestly, some of them are just awfully, awfully cheap and there's no stability in them, whatever. Like the last four that I bought, I got them, opened them, packed them back up and returned them. I just felt straight away that they just were not good enough to use. So I've kind of made Coupo as my base uh, C-stand now. Um, but the, the couple of newer ones that I've got are really, really sturdy as well. So I'm happy with those, but I chuck the heaviest load on the Coupo ones now and I feel they're quite good value for money. So what I use my Coupo C-stands for is the heaviest load. So I'm either putting the, for indoor shoots, putting the 600D uh, with the 150 light dome, or if I'm using that with the, the F10 Fresnel, then that's kind of, I use the bigger stand for that. Obviously I could also choose to use the combo stands in those settings, but indoors I'm, I'm pretty happy with that combo. I trust these guys with my boom arm as well. So this is a Coupo boom. So if I'm putting a hair light overhead, putting out one of the F22s overhead or something, I'm happy using the C stand for that as well. Obviously, if I brought the combos with me, then that's even better because that's a wider footprint, sturdier base, but more than happy to fly my hair lights out with these things. And then I've recently just, I used to just hang the sandbag off the back, just a little five kilo sandbag, but I just bought the six kilo kind of clamp on offset weight thing. I don't know what they're called, but um, that's definitely made a difference. So always obviously have your load going out with the big leg and then pop your weight or your sandbag at the back. And then we've happily and safely got the hair light above the talent. So again, I've kind of, for no other reason other than I think their gear is really great. Coupo is now kind of my base standard for my grip gear where possible. Because I'm not a grip guy, I'm just a, a one man band with an assistant and things at times. I don't want to invest too far into my grip, but I also want to be really safe and have longevity in it. So I definitely feel that Coupo is where it's at for my kind of positioning at the moment. And I've been really happy with the value and the strength and stability uh, to date. So one of the stands that I take with me when traveling, because I can't take C stands, and I can't take combos with flights is, this is a Manfrotto Nano Plus stand. So it's quite, it's got a nice big footprint. Let's see that back there. And it goes quite tall. Now, it's not crazily sturdy, but this is fabulous for travel. I wouldn't trust booming my audio out from it. It's just a bit too wobbly, but a great stand to have for a very, very, you could probably do the 300D, definitely takes a 60D. So I kind of use it as my, my rear light, or if I'm using the 60D as the 
key light with the little dome mini on top this is fine for that so you just chuck a little shoddy on the bottom definitely wouldn't use this outdoors but great for travel so the other little thing that i've bought recently just to help me out with a little few extra grip options uh is these are newer brand but they're cartellinis essentially so you can pop them on a stand And then they've got a little baby pin on them. So you could then chuck a grip head and fly anything else that you need off, whether or not it's another little light or if you wanted to pop a, a flag up or a scrim or something from a grip head. So they're really handy. Also kind of use these like a duck bill and pop these into the combo. Pop, so pop the baby into the, into the grip head and then clamp whatever you want in there could be a piece of timber it could be anything so that's kind of great with that option so it's a two-way kind of use or you can come along to a table and clamp that to a table and then you've got your baby pin to chuck a light on top with those so I've got two of those now they're just the newer brand this relatively small but just for the minor gripping that I need to do, I kind of felt these would come in handy. So I was pretty excited to pick those up. They were fairly cheap, I can't remember the price, but uh, not just another little thing to add into my kit. Ultimately, I'm just working on my ability to convince every single client to uh, hire a gaffer and a grip truck with everything we do, but obviously uh, budgets don't always go that way and you don't need that for every single job, but I would love that ultimately. Right, so there you have it. That's uh, a bunch of the different types of stands that I use in my work. Not every job am I able to take the van and take all this equipment when I'm flying to jobs. You've got to go pretty minimal and weight wise. Um, so that's why I have the variety of heavier and lighter stands and just use them as necessary. You do have to get quite crafty on the travel jobs as to how you, again, you're not really taking shop bags with you. Uh, so how you kind of weigh things down, whether it's with some extra V-lock batteries or um, I have heard of people using some sort of water bag, so I might check that out as well. And don't forget to uh, pop a comment if you've seen something that uh, you think I could do better or there's another product that you think would really be handy, especially for uh, all the travel jobs I've got coming up and the flights I've got to take, so I'm trying to keep my kit very nimble. So if you've got any ideas on that, let me know. Hope you're having a great week and uh, enjoying what you're doing and hopefully you got something out of this and uh, we can all keep progressing together. Cheers. So this is the kind of small combo stand that I've got and I've popped the wheels on there. This one in particular is a, a Godox brand. Um, it's heavy and strong um, and it's great. I've only got the shorter one that's uh, probably only like 170 or 160. So that's your baby pin. Comes out. You can just pop that up as well. It doesn't have to be sideways. Um, then you've got your junior pin receiver in there, uh, your safety chain latch. So I really enjoy the, the weight and size of that one. This one is the Kupo baby, basically baby stand. Um, nice and sturdy. And great for, I'm going to start using that as my outdoor minimum stand. So just to be a bit safer outside. So it's just a baby pin. Uh, so you got to chuck a grip head to then go from there. Or just pop your light straight on the baby pin. Uh, this one's my Kupo boom arm. Self-explanatory. I think it's about 2.4 meters, uh, and that's on the Kupo C stand, swinging leg C stand. So they're nice and beefy. And this was just the newer six kilogram counterbalance weight. They do have a hook on the back too, if you need it. This one, well, that's the. So that's the Hollywood up here. 
into the combo stand and you've also, also got the junior pin adapter on the top there if you need it to. But the combo stand, this is the Manfrotto one. It's just a beast. It's you know, nearly 10 kilos itself and the legs spread out nice and wide. And you do have the adjustable leg if you want to come out um, on, a, on a funny angle or something. So that's really handy. Uh, so I use that for my heaviest lights or if I'm trying to boom out a heavy floppy overhead outdoors, that's definitely an option. And then this is the kind of lighter light stand. So this is just um, the aluminium style. So they're light as a feather. And I use these mainly when I'm traveling or just as background lights um for set which don't they're, they're just the, the 60d or the amaran or something small and then I, this is just one of my boom arms again newer one got the xlr you can go in I generally use a wireless one anyway but it's there if i need and that that seems to be my minimum stand that i would trust for booming audio out if if I'm indoors I'll just use a C stand but if I'm traveling then I just take these Manfrotto ones that clip together